Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. Okay, now let's talk about product variants. So you're probably thinking, Catherine, this is a shirt. I have multiple sizes, maybe even multiple colors. I have, you saw me, I set like 12 for this t-shirt. Like I have 12 of this size and five of this size. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So over here next to dimensions, above this trash can, I'm gonna click this plus sign and I'm going to type in size. And then I'm gonna hit save option. And now you can see we have a whole new column here to manage. So in this one, I'm going to type in small to match my SKU over here. I'm going to go ahead and take the shirt off sale. And let's come back into the stock, uncheck that, and let's go with, we've got 12 small shirts. Okay, now let's add our medium shirt. All you have to do to do that is click this plus button over here on the left and it will generate another line for you. This is basically just another variant of the same product. So I'm going to change my SKU again to medium. Let's say I've got five medium shirts and then we need to make sure to change the size over here. And this is all you do to add different variants of the same product. So let's say I have seven large shirts. And we'll do one more. Sometimes people like to charge a few extra bucks for the extra large shirts or the XXL shirts. Uh, that's up to you. But you can see here you can have a different price for each variant. So each of these rows is separate and you can change them to be their own individual thing. So that is how you add sizes. Now let's say you have the same t-shirt design but in two different colors. We're just going to add another column right here and name it color. And now let's save that option and we will call this pink. And now let's do just do it all over again and we will do let's call it a black shirt. So I'm going to put that back to 15 and let's say I have just two of those. Um, and we're going to change this color to black. Now let's do, let's do this one actually at zero and medium. So I'm out of the medium besties black shirts. And we'll do large. So just repeat this process until all of your products, colors, and sizes are listed out. Need to make sure to make this skew different. And there we go. So that is how you add pricing and variance to your products. Let me see, I'm gonna come in here and change some of these quantities. There we go, now they all kind of have a little bit something different. So go through, get all your sizes and your colors and your whatever else set up in this pricing and variance tab, and I will see you in the next video. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtherow.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.